creative friends, it's Eugenia from Art Mal Time is Atelier and today we're going to be talking how we're going to um, avoid uh, damaging uh, our papers uh, from the masking and how we can repair them. So that is uh, it's going to be a short uh, but um, hopefully very useful video today. Um, I found that uh, it is um, it can, can be a little bit tricky. Uh, I will give you um, uh, I have the list of the tips of um, how we're gonna be uh, avoiding uh, this uh, paper damage. So we'll start with that one because the best way it is to avoid it and not to repair it. <laughs> um, that definitely uh, avoiding uh, damaging the paper is much more important. So the first tip that um, I have to give you about um, avoiding uh, damaging your paper is to use a, a proper um, artist uh, grade um, masking tape. Uh, this one is a Paul Romans, but you can use just any artist grade um, masking uh, tape uh, from any um, art store uh, this one it is from a hardware store it is much more taggier uh, I used it before but you need to be very careful um, when you use uh, from the hardware store because they're, they're much more taggy and yeah they're, they're, they're a bit more hard and you can tell when you tear it, uh, sorry, uh, unstick it, it's, um, it has much more tagginess in it than uh, the artist uh, great uh, masking tape. And uh, I've lost the beginning. Oh, here it is. It's, uh, it, 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 it is uh, much less taggy and it's unstuck. Unst uh, sticking much easier so that's the first um, thing that you have to do um, now if you don't have artist uh, tape and you st and you have the hardware one you can still use it but you need to be a little bit more cautious so the second um, tip how to avoid is to take off tagginess uh, so let's use um, some uh, hardware grade masking tape so i'm gonna just put it uh, on this side of my paper like this and uh, i will use the artist grade masking on this side of my paper Um, so I, I just got it from the, the roll, cut it and put it straight on my paper. So rule number one, uh, when you try to lift it, you never do this. You always have to go 180 degrees on sticking it. That uh, this is one way of avoiding, and now because th th this one is not bad actually, so never like this because if it's th there for a little while and uh, gets taggy, it will tear. Always that way, and if you see that starts tearing from this side, then you stop and you go on the opposite side. So this is the number one. The second um, tip is uh, to make sure that you never do what I did right now. I tear it and I put it straight on the paper. That's a no-no. What you have to do always is to get to go on your cloth, maybe on, uh, uh, for example, uh, on your sleeve or on your... Uh, I'm not sure if I can see it. And you do this on your trousers, just any cloth. So this takes the most of the tagginess, 
and it gets uh, a little bit fluff going on the on your tape which means i'm not sure if you can see now because it's just got a little bit a uh, black uh, fluff from the cloth that means that's gonna that's not gonna be as much tacky as it was before Obviously, you do the same with artist or um, hardware tape. This is a must always to do. So the more you do it, the better chance you have not to get uh, your paper torn. Uh, how I can see that this will protect your paper by 70%. Um, now, the other thing that you will do once you use this paper, this uh, uh, tapes, you are never, if they're in good condition, I never throw them because they're perfect for the next time. Uh, they're not taggy enough, and but even if they still are, you can still use them on your cloth again you and they're not as harsh on your paper so I always keep them and then using them for a couple more times they don't last too long uh, but those a couple times that I use them I don't have to worry about uh, the tagginess as much this will protect your paper I would say about 90% uh, it doesn't happen that often see how easily it's um it comes off but still it will not let any um, paint to go through uh, underneath so that's the another tip now if for some reason you have forgotten or forgotten or you have prepared your paper and you haven't used it for a long long time uh, and the change of the temperature normally when it's cold um, the glue gets really hard then that's for sure that's gonna uh, tear your paper so what you need to, to do is to get your heating tool or a hair dryer if you don't have a heating tool just warming it up a little bit that will make the, the glue soften and will tear no problem yeah sorry tear unstuck no problem <laughs> And the last and most, most important uh, tip avoiding um, damaging your paper is when you're doing watercolors and you have put your masking down, make sure that your, your paper and your masking is 100% dried. If you try to lift it, to lift your masking, while your paper is still wet then it's almost a hundred percent chance that you are going to um, end up with a paper like this and th this one normally that's what happens to me because i'm very patient uh i finish my painting and uh, I keep on talking on the video and i start taking off my uh, masking and still somewhere it's not 100 percent dry and end up like this and like this and like this it happened to this one too but because it's um yep yeah, as you can tell here i have taken it off completely um it doesn't really bother me because if uh, even here too because uh, i can always cut it on this point and it's fine i mean the most of the times it doesn't matter because if you um, frame it, even if you frame it, you always frame it a little bit more in. So no one will see what happened to that spot. But if you give it to someone like this, they might try to take it off and they might go into your paint. So it is better not to, to have uh, left um, bits of um, damaged paper like that. So the um, now the method I'm going to show you how to repair the paper. Uh, I already used it on this paper here. I'm not sure if you can tell that it was uh, torn on this spot here. 
so I have uh, I have done it you can still see the line of the of the tear but uh, as you can tell it is um, nothing else indicates that uh, the paper was, was damaged apart of this little line um, so I'm gonna show you now my little trick so my trick is nothing it's not rocking science that, <laughs> that's for sure it is a uh, very very simple and it's called gum arabic <laughs> the most of us we have one of those in our stash all the watercolorists or the most of the watercolorists uh, this is um, the bind binder uh, one of the binders on so the main binder of uh, the most uh, all the watercolor uh, all the watercolors so if you want to um, to, to, to keep uh, your um, you, you can mix it with your actual watercolors of the from the tubes and that makes it a little bit more um, not to be as runny um sticky sorry because some of the um of the colors the watercolors they have uh honey uh, instead of gum arabic so that makes them a little bit sticky and taggy so if you have tubes with the sennelier normally they uh, mainly they're like this um they don't dry 100 uh, percent they always stay a little bit sticky so you can put a little you can mix a little bit gum iron mix just a couple of drops in there and that makes them harden a little bit more but still the activating with water no problem so they're using the, the most uh, watercolor uh, professional lines using gum arabic from binder um, and also uh, I have another video that they show when sometimes the pens from uh, the the color from the, the cakes uh, in the pens they're coming off uh, i just put a, a couple of drops of gum arabic i put the, the cake in the pan and it sticks and it's fine when i get to paint it will not affect my <clears throat> uh, my paints so if this is acting like a glue i thought why not to um help me with my paper damage and there we go uh, i've done this little experiment and um, as i show you there's absolutely no issue with um uh, now this is i just need to find a little uh, lid somewhere oh, i'm gonna just use this just to put a couple of drops that's all you need you don't need much uh, you put it with your brush <laughs> and that's why if it falls because as I said it's uh there's no issue it's part of our paint so that will dry and will stay like this as we saw the same with uh, yeah this is dried up so that's it that's all it needs just uh, just a little bit touch with a uh, gum arabic it acts like glue Make sure you're uh, putting your paper straight. It gives you time. It doesn't. It's not. In, it's not instant. It doesn't dry up instantly. So that's fine. You see? No problem. It's done. It's always handy to have this uh, gum arabic in your stash if you're using uh, watercolors and gouache. 
um, like a, a little uh, something like that I've got for, for quite a while as you can tell we're not using uh, a lot uh, and uh, just to make sure so you can even even put a little bit on top to make sure that it seals it and one lift which doesn't anyway and that's it it's very gentle with your brushes you can use your watercolor brushes because um, it's not a glue it is actually the binder it's very nice it's natural so that was it all done it only took a couple of seconds and uh, now we'll let them dry and it is um, all done we fixed our papers so hopefully you found this uh, video uh, helpful and if you think that uh, will help you with your uh, art and your paintings and uh, please don't forget to like it and put thumbs up <laughs> um, and uh, yeah please don't um, consider it if you haven't been um, uh, subscribed please consider to do so we're gonna be doing lots of different um, paintings and lots of different um, talking about the techniques and mediums and tips and tricks for just any medium we're gonna yeah we're gonna be having fun with art uh, as you can tell i am playing with different styles right now um i like i'm doing more abstract sometimes sometimes i'm going to gouache sometimes watercolors more realistic more abstract I love this background hmm. actually I have I have a video um, I've done it I've done another one similar to this one oh there's another side here oh I didn't see it fix this one I didn't fix that one <laughs> so uh, yeah I've, I've made another one uh, similar to this um, painting this background uh, and I've made I put the video on but now I have uh, I had the idea to do those lines and to show you how I did them. So I have another video. I will probably put it on in a couple of weeks. Uh, so, yep. That's it. And what else that I haven't seen? And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we are uploading a video. And the notifications will tell you what kind of video it is. If it is painting or pastels or watercolors or pencils, products, just anything. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for watching me. Hopefully we'll see you soon in my next video. Until then, be happy, be creative, and keep painting. Bye for now.